Okay, the modification today is the carburetor. We're going to be rejetting it. So I'll get you zoomed in here. It's behind this panel and we'll get started. Okay, so we want to take this off. Eight millimeter screws. Normally there's a rubber piece here sometimes. Uh, it's not on this bike. Before you start with anything, you want to make sure that this is turned off. There's a little arrow pointing down, so when it's on, it's pointing down to on. And to turn it off, point it to off. Um, even with it off, there's going to be some gas left in the bowl here. If you leave it on and it's tipped a certain way, it's going to keep dripping. So you got the carburetor here. And it's four Phillips screws on the bottom. This back one's a little harder to get to. Make sure not to lose them. Now this is going to come off. And there's going to be some gas in here. So I'm going to pull that straight down, and there is a gasket in there. Okay, so this is full of gas here. Okay, it's going to be hard to see because it's underneath. There you can see the pilot jet and the main jet. So we're going to be unscrewing those with a flat head. Here's the new jets we're putting in. This is the main jet. This is a 95. This is the pilot jet. This one's a 15. And it'll actually say it um, printed there. I don't know if you can read that, but that says 15. So this does say that it's a 90. Um, so that's good. We're going up to a 95. So we're going one step up. And obviously you want to make sure the hole is clean. And so this one's a 12.5 and we are replacing it with a 15. Check your uh, floats, make sure those are good. Everything looks good. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up before we put it on there. It's pretty dirty in there. And uh, we're also gonna, if you have a new gasket, you're gonna replace the gasket as well. So we'll get this cleaned up and we'll continue on. Okay, so we've cleaned this out. Um, if you got an air compressor, definitely blow it out. And if you have a new gasket, now's the time to use it. I don't have a new gasket, so hopefully the old one stands up. Otherwise, I'll be ordering a new gasket. Okay, so then it's just the reverse process. You got four screws. You do want to make sure to turn this on before you get started, uh, before you start the bike and all that, or else it's not going to run. For the time being, we're going to leave this plastic cover off. We're going to run it around, get it started up, and make sure that we're not seeing any leaks because we didn't replace the gasket. Um, I'm a little worried that there may be some leaks. So we'll see. Okay, so we're on. Let's see. And you will have to play with the idle um, because we've changed the jets. The uh, idle is going to be a little bit different. So you will have a little bit of adjusting to do.
beforehand, without the jets, we were uh, twisting the throttle wide open and it would fog out because it wasn't getting enough fuel. Now uh, we can take it all through the gears and it's running good all through the power band. tire. Check back on my other videos. I'll show you how to change the rear tire. We got ourselves a flat. <laughs> 